Hello, I am Michael Please No, and uh, I saw again another really cool looking game uh, in the feedback forum on TIG, Devader, Invasion of the Kryn. Um, and I thought, hey, let's play it live. I played a few seconds of it and I saw, uh, I thought, oh, well, this is. A cool game that's worth actually talking about, so I will uh, I will talk about it. Um, so I like that it just this is this is the way I would do most web games is uh, just take up the screen. This is actually you can play it in a web browser, which is cool. Um, I'm kind of experimenting with that kind of stuff too, and uh, that's an interesting deal. Um, I don't know if there's an option to make it take over the whole screen though. I it's sort of I don't know what screen format. Not not exactly sure there. Quality high, medium. Well, let's stay with high quality. Okay. This is accessible language, audio, gamepad. Uh, you can play with this with the mouse. I've tried that. So I'll, I'll, let me just go into it. Um, so I thought this was kind of an interesting color character customizer where you just you pick your color. I thought that was that was kind of an interesting. It might make sense to do fewer options of colors, just like bigger bigger change each time I push this button. Uh, but I will be blue. And then I like that it says what the actual... Um, let's get personal. Oof. Um... Now we're talking not too easy, not too hard. Well, so I, I like the little descriptions. This one says not too easy, not too hard for normal. So I will the full experience without having to get out of your comfort zone. Sounds sounds about right. This is a nice little loading screen. Scouting complete. Distress signal located. Hostile presence confirmed. Okay. It's a nice, nice little opening. Landing ship ready for takeoff. Dispatching Devader. That got. I hope there wasn't more. I don't know if that got cut off or not. Our drones are already battling. Your job is to protect the Matrix. Lead the drones to victory. Our weapons have been turned have been tuned to neither damage friendly units nor the unknown matrix. Your debater is about to land. Okay. Pointer. Alright. So, yeah, this is a lot of info all at once. A lot of stuff. Um, and yeah, I kinda, I mean, I, I get WASD, mouse for zoom. These are pretty standard Right, and then mouse is targeting. Okay, I kind of get the idea here. Um, it might, it might make sense to make these sort of like go away once you press them. Like when you press W, then the W arrow disappears, and when you zoom in and out, the zoom disappears, and then when you fire, the fire mouse disappears, so that it sort of once you've done. I guess it's, oh, okay, so it's once you move a certain distance, I think, is what, what happens. Um, I, I really like the, uh, the visuals seem very, very serious. Oh, okay, I can see their, as they, as they chew at the, I assume this is the Matrix, whatever this thing in the center is, it's, it's little, uh-oh, they're getting, they're making a lot of progress. I'm kind of concerned about that. Um, they've definitely chewed away at this thing. 
I, I don't know whether it saves your matrix progress. The hexagonal matrix is our last stronghold. The survival of our civilization is at stake. Kind of curious a little bit more about that. Why does this hexagon matter to me? Okay, 8,000. Time factor 0.75. I'm not sure how good this is compared to... It would be nice if there were... I mean, hey, listen. You know, what percentile you were in would be cool just to know, like, compared to other people. I know that's sort of a technological thing to have to do a leaderboard, but I, I think there might be some pretty cheap, simple leaderboard technologies where it just says, hey, of all the people who've done the tutorial level, your score is... Ranked number 1,000 or whatever. I don't know. Distribute to upgrade points. Score. Okay, so this seems to be implying that score... Actually, you use your score to buy upgrades. It seems. That seems to be what this is implying. I, I don't know. I would if, it, if score is like money, I would call it something other than score. Um... I absolutely want weapon. One in life, one additional shield, weapon and speed, ammo, increase power up ammo. Power up drops. Well, I'm kind of curious what score upgrade does, so I'm going to click that. New. The defender. The defensive nuclear pulse weapon is designed to keep your devator safe. The weapon is discharged from the data nuclear. The tactical nuclear weapon can, can accurately be targeted at a safe distance, but you must account for the delayed impact. The defensive... Okay, so these are nuclear weapons. Nuclear missiles. Interesting, the color changes. Well, one of them has a purple nuclear cloud. Um, tact tactical nuclear weapon just sounds better. Defensive nuclear weapon? I don't know. Designed to keep your debater safe. Uh, well, tactical. I think we're going to tactical one. Oh, there's a mini map. That's good. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I once got told in a harsh lecture that I needed to do a mini map for my game. I don't know if it's actually as important for something like this, but there's space or the middle it replenishes every eight seconds. Pretty simple. Oops, wrong button. Oh, I gotta wait. So yeah, again, having the controls like the little overlay kind of be more interactive would be helpful. Uh, just just sort of maybe if there's a little timer that shows you because I, I clicked it and I was confused by wait Why isn't it going am I doing something wrong? Did I just lose? I'm not sure what just happened there Maybe I should have bought defensive defensive items. I think I may have lost a life. I'm not sure. Oh shoot. Uh-oh. Oops, I pressed space accidentally. Didn't mean to do that. What is this thing? Oh my goodness. That is creepy. Oh my goodness. That is a creepy looking thing. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, that was... That's a cool looking, uh... That's a cool looking critter. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, I'm doing terrible. Wow, alright, so yeah, I keep dying. Huh. That's interesting. Let me re. Did, where does it restart me? Hmm. It restarts me at the beginning. Ooh, wow. That's really harsh. Um. Let me. Let me bump. Bump back down to easy. Right, okay, so I, I think redoing the tutorial is, I mean, there should be a little toggle that just says, like, skip the tutorial, please, thank you. So I'm not shooting these ones over here. I have to actually angle it so that it goes through the... And then I got close to these guys. Oops. Um. Huh. Prepare for pickup. Okay. How did I do? So that's interesting, my score is lower. I'm gonna do weapon and armor. Oh, I get three upgrades. And, uh, shield. Light tactical nuclear weapon. Oh my goodness, that is an explosion. Middle mouse. Right, I like this little arrow UI that tells you where to go. The, the little black arrows is really well done. Because that's a very clear, that's very clear where you're supposed to go. Are they curving? Is that because I made, got the upgrade? Oh, that's interesting. That depends on the distance. Huh. That's pretty clever. So there's a there's a benefit to actually targeting the correct distance. Huh. That's pretty that's a nice little design touch. I wonder if there's any way to beat these little egg sacks without nuking them. I'm not if they're if those are invincible to bullets, it would be nice if there was a little like uh, deflection noise or something that you know makes it clear that you're not uh, there's no way to to actually shoot them. You have to nuke them because the first time I encountered those egg sacks, I was thinking, oh. I can just shoot them enough, and that'll be the end of it. And, uh... See, now, I don't know, in the easier mode, do they not target you as much? Because I feel like in the last mode, they were really aggressive about coming at me. And then in this mode, they seem to not really... They're, they're just ignoring me. Is that just me? Is that a coincidence? Oh, my God. These things... <laughs> These things are so creepy. <laughs> Those... 
Like those giant black <laughs> spiders. <laughs> And apparently, it, it uh, the the goo that it makes on the ground that's interesting too. It, it, it uh, apparently wherever there there's little splatters wherever you uh, explode them. Tentacloss. <laughs> Tentacloss. <laughs> uh oh, nuke, nuke. I nuked him. Tentacles. <laughs> it would be so. I know. I don't know whether voice acting is a possibility, but it would be really great if you had a had just one guy who just tentacles. You know, right? It just it just like one. I mean, just a narrator guy. Find a friend or someone who has a good voice, and just you know <laughs> have it tentacles. You know that. You know, do put some echo on it. You know that would be great. Uh-oh. We call them the Kryn. They are relentless. They pursue our very existence. Is Tentaclaus a Kryn? I'm not sure. So, more narrative stuff always would make me more interested in this. Um, I, you know, it's sort of, it's interesting. The the basics of it, you know, are pretty good. And then I start to think more. I mean, it seems like this is a pretty well-developed universe of, you know, there's a technology and there's bad guys and good guys. Little little more uh, interstitial uh like uh, story narrative, narrative would be would be good. One additional life. I'll take an I'll take an extra life. Does not provide significant benefits. Okay, so you're not even supposed to take score. That's kind of weird. Uh, if score doesn't actually improve your ability to get upgrades, I would not use a money bag as the score. I'm not sure what I would use, but the, this this image makes me think it, it it gives me money, which I could then use to spend on upgrades. So the more my score is, the more upgrades I could buy, and it's one of these uh, positive reinforcement cycles. But you know, I, I don't know if that's the way it actually works. Blinker. Strongly armored, supporting double barrel cannon and protective DM pulse. This turret can stand your ground against many threats. Placement and extraction of the blinkers must be done at close range. Warden, highly versatile turret can place at a large distance. Oh no, I'll do the, the close range is fine. You can now place blinkers behind your defader. Pick them up when close by. Use the right mouse button or key. If you hold the same button for three seconds, all your blinkers switch between self-preservation and active mode. I would just put if you hold the right... Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, that's a little weird, but I get what you're doing here. Wall in the hedge... Wall in hedgehog mode. Wait. Is that is hedgehog mode self-preservation? The blinker is inactive, but only takes five percent damage. So you're telling me where to place a blinker here? Okay, I can do that. Oh, oh, oh. I've got a. It, it just places right where I am. Well, I've got to pick one up. And then I've got to place it. Pick it up. Place it. It's not letting me... Well, i got to... Okay. I missed one. Oh, okay. So th that's... 
if I have to pick them up, I probably would place them a little differently. You know, that was a little confusing. I have a blinker, don't I? Oh, what did I just pick up? Where, where's my... Did I miss this one? Is that... Oh, move. I'm supposed to move this one. So that's... Okay. That was a little awkward, but I get what you're talking about. Why can't I not move? Set all, oh, okay. Set all blinkers into hedgehog mode by pressing E for three. One. I'm holding it down. What's, what, this is weird. There's some sort of input error? Because I'm holding the E key. And they're not. Okay, so I just. React it. There's something weird about the E key thing because that's... I think I just pressed it. There's some sort of weird thing with that. And am I on a wave now? Did the wave start? <sighs> These enemies have a lot of brass and a lot of chutzpah. So many of them. Okay, these guys. I know these guys. Why is there a little... I like the music, by the way, with the ethereal kind of... I think that's really well done. The music is the music is great. Oh, hey, I can get another one of these things. I thought I could get another one. Oh, the enemies have turrets, too. Interesting. Oh, okay. Oh no. Oops, I walked right into that bullet. It's like I wanted to get hit by it. That's interesting. My, for some reason, my bullets seem to be going more in a different pattern. Oh my goodness, these things. They're so creepy. <laughs> Alright, nuke. Nuke time. 
Ha ha, nuked. Deal with it. Dot JPEG. Uh, oh, this guy's... Direction. Oh, I missed this guy. Hyperloop in the loop. So, hi Hyperloop is a boss guy. Oh my goodness! Circles. Can I nuke this guy? Am I sh even shooting? Did I lose? Oh, okay. So there's a there's a paywall. Interesting. Well, let's click the link. So yeah, here's the Steam page, and it's uh fourteen ninety nine. Uh demo demo and the uh, buy it on Steam. Hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. Uh, I'm not sure why this wouldn't get more attention. I think I saw it uh, as an IGF entry in one of the years that I was considering doing the IGF entry. It's very polished. The visuals are really well done. Um, those bosses, those creepy bosses. I, I love the 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 creepy boss, you know, uh, squids. Those were great. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you could do to be more uh, seen. That's sort of the big question in indies nowadays. Because uh, I know this is this is project has a lot of time put into it. It's this is not something that you would just be able to do in an afternoon. Um, so I do wish you luck in getting some uh, getting some attention about this game. Play the original arcade. The wave of cruel, challenging, and ever changing enemies. Yeah, that's. I mean, one of your selling points is really that the uh, the bad guys are very. That's a lot of variety of bad guys for. Uh, you know, each, each wave is is very uh, different. Uh, wield powerful weapons as you strategize to find the best method to defeat the invaders while protecting the core. Any upgrades and paths to choose from, various endings and secrets unlocked to Vader offers a wealth of possibilities and hours of gameplay. Yeah? Oh, I'm surprised they let you put a link. That's interesting. I don't know. I didn't, I'm surprised they let you put a link. I've I've been. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know whether this is uh, behind this closed doors, but I've been. I I've. Been, I think I read a guideline about putting links in the in the Steam description. Is sort of Steam is like uh, we're Steam, um, but uh, save us the crin. Mysterious visions of all the Valorant aliens have lost merciless invasion. Defend the last remnants of an ancient civilization against unrelenting waves of malignant crin. You are the last hope. Huh. Yeah, it's like you know, this is this is and it's it's getting really positive reviews. Um yeah, I, you know, again, I, I don't know. You know, if if I were Steam, I would definitely consider this as something that deserves attention. So, again, don't know, but uh, I really don't have too many big feedback points. Uh, I would love to see more uh, world building and uh, plot stuff. You know, because you've got this interesting kind of the crin are really interesting. The enemies are really. You know, I would love to know more about the bad guys, um, the good guys. I would also like to know more about them. Uh, you know, so more interstitial narrative that would be great. Otherwise, uh, I'm not sure why it's not uh, getting more uh, more play. It seems seems really well done. 
So uh, nice, nice job. And I hope this feedback video was helpful. Um, and uh, yeah, keep at it. Peace out.